come down to our final performer of the evening. He is from New Jersey. He is heterosexual. He is left-handed. He does shit twice a day. And he is a four-time uh, deaf poet. He's been on HBO Deaf Poetry four times. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome to the stage our final feature of the evening, Flo Mentos. Give it up for Flo Mentos, ladies and gentlemen. Keep clapping, keep clapping, he's almost here. Keep clapping, let's go, let's go, final feature. All right, y'all ready? Ready. Yeah. All right, Flo Mental, uh, playing from New Jersey. Here to represent. I don't know how to intro myself. I mean, it's been a while since I performed. I'm trying to get back into it. But um, been all over the world, seen a lot of things, fucked a lot of chicks. <laughs> But um, I'm back in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back for an intro, shit. <laughs> uh, let's start like this. <laughs> for all the mothers out there who had the ability to breastfeed but didn't. <laughs> Babies got together and wrote this poem because they're going to stint you with the titty. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so. I was conceived, formed, and born of the good nutritional oversight telling you to eat right, drink right, keeping me active, kicking you all night. Sorry. Now that I'm here, you want to feed me this shit? Infamil, good start, Similac. I'm trapped on my way to a baby heart attack when you could have just gave me the titty. <laughs> Talking 100% all natural shit from mother to child. Tell me something, who my mama, you or this fucking cow? <laughs> I don't want no weak immune system, air infection, chemically imbalanced shit that make me go in the wrong direction. Eyesight fucked up, needing optic corrections. I'm 12 years old, I'm still limp, but it's my first direction. Take that bottle, I don't want that shit. I want the titty, I'm talking breasts. My two infant lips around that nipple caress, getting healthier after every suck of the breast. You see, I need this shit like we heads need cess. I want this to be an everyday reflex like getting dressed. I swear, if you don't give me my shit, I'm going to make the next five years of your life overstressed. I'm talking about not taking no naps, not sitting on your fucking lap, me going into a seizure because you gave me a little ass tap, or because you didn't give me that titty. Suck, 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 breathe. Suck, 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 breathe. That's all it takes for me to be straight. But here you go with this. Ah, my breast might hurt. It's inconvenient. Should have thought about that shit before you was full of semen conceiving me. So shut the fuck up and give me the titty. Yeah. How many mothers in the house? And mothers? Uh, Ryan? I wasn't breastfed. <laughs> My mother carried me for like ten and a half months. Back then, they didn't take you out. They just wow. like, he's going to come. This is seven. He's going to come. Just chill out. I'm like, fuck, I ain't going out. Pull me out. <laughs> I ain't. They had to pull me out that way. I almost killed my mother. But I'm here. She said, fuck you. You're not getting under my nectar. So, you know, I had to drink the chemicals. I think that's why I'm left-handed. <laughs> but when I play kickball, I kick with my right foot. <laughs> I'm just fucked up. <laughs> I don't smoke weed, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> but however, I do indulge in alcoholic beverages. Um, but I know how to hold my liquor. A lot of people don't hold it. You know, people get up on the mic, you know, they spotlight poet. Hey, uh, uh, hold on, I forgot my shit. Uh, it's, it's not professional, right? So I limit myself to five, six, seven. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, I had enough for the night because I got to perform. Nah, but um, you ever go inside the refrigerator, get out your food? You ever think about what the fuck the food is doing inside the refrigerator after you close it? <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so I hooked up my 
my little spy cam. I caught those little bastards. <laughs> I was amazed and astounded to figure that life was greater after I witnessed the shit that went on inside after I closed the refrigerator. <laughs> See, my curiosity got the best of me. I had to know if life existed beyond a chiller, if the fridge was home to hustlers and killers, if unemployment plagued the lower rack, if the upper rack was being legitimately taxed. See, I had to know. So I drilled the hole in the middle of the door, peeked through it, I wouldn't believe what was in store. I saw Butter and Marjorie bickering like bad roommates in their studio apartment compartment. I even saw racism on another level. Black olives called it a conspiracy how green olives was in a jar and they were in a can. I saw Pork Shoulder trying to convince Spam that he wasn't full-fledged ham. Uh, I even saw Bean Pies preaching about how cottage cheese and jello was the devil trying to divide chocolate and white milk. Bean Pies said it's kind of scary because if chocolate and white milk was have an offspring hell, the outcome might be strawberry. I had to take a step back, wipe the cold from my eye because I couldn't believe this shit. Peanut butter was trying to work things out with jelly because he caught her in a menage a trois with butter and toast. I'm saying. <laughs> now imagine what this world would be like if peanut butter and jelly got a divorce. Should it be all fucked up? <laughs> there were accusations that OJ had murdered a person's thirst, but ice cold water confessed to the deed, so it seemed like to me. Inside the refrigerator, yo, the color orange was synonymous with crime. Leftover fish was in dire need of a dish and some FDS. So I took a look over at Arm and Hammer. He looked back at me like, damn it, Jim. I'm baking soda, not a magician. <laughs> I even took a look down in the crisper. They were being plagued with some fuzzy, hairy shit. Now it's said that it started with one tomato they claimed was homosexual. They tried to say he spread it to the lettuce, saying they was doomed for death. Protested that it was conspire population control. Dozens of eggs out on the side like orphans hoping that one day they'll reunite with their chicken head mother. Mustard and ketchup was in food court fighting for custody over the hot dogs and hamburgers. Skinny ass rice cakes shot prisms at turkey breast because she was so damn voluptuous. Then I took a look back over at peanut butter. He was kicking himself in the ass because he didn't get jelly to sign any prenuptials. I'm saying. I really imagine what this world would be like if peanut butter and jelly got a divorce. Our kids will go fucking nuts. I got tired of seeing what was going on in the refrigerator because deep in my heart, I knew that shit that was going on, it was a direct reflection of this fucked up world that we live in. So, uh, good night, y'all. So yeah, um, a lot of shit I wrote when I was young. I'm older now. I can't memorize shit like I used to. You know, that age shit. You know, got a more what what do you call it? Uh, I don't know. Shit that helps. CRS. Uh, whatever. Yeah. I need more of that shit. <laughs> so uh, a lot of stuff, you know, stuff that I wrote recently, I've memorized, and then I don't perform much. So I gotta read it, but I'm gonna give you the same energy. Fuck that. Exactly. Word. I wanna love you, but you make the pussy too easy. <laughs> I wanna confide in you, but your talk is too greasy. I wanna get with a stripper, but the stereotype is too much to bear. I wanna keep you thinking like having a blowout on a highway with no spares. I wanna tell you when your breath and your pussy stink. I wanna tell you change your diet even though I know you're addicted to the pork links. I wanna tell your mother to shut the fuck up and mind her business. I want you to be Muslim, but only around Christmas. I want a fiscally responsible thinker whose credit score is above 700. I wanna know you. I wanna know what you're thinking before you even think about thinking it. No need for eyes and brothers that make the mood right. No lying. When it's time to make love, it doesn't matter. I will fuck you to a siren. Believe me, sweetie. I'm too old for the bullshit. I'm damn near 40. Game for me is obsolete. Don't have the patience. Don't have time to juggle three and four chicks. I got money to make. Got hands to shake. Deals to bake. So if I seem too upfront, it's because I have no time to waste. Got two kids from sperm disbursements that were non-strategic. But my seeds keep me grinded. My retinas stay unblinded. I see truth. The eardrums, they can be deceived. That's why bullshit is always heard and not seen. 
Girl, what you bringing to the table besides your encryptions of love? Love is filled with drama, insecurities, and emotional affliction. Excess baggage and a woman's hatred for the idea of submission. So you want to get married? Okay. How's your credit? <laughs> <laughs> Were there any positive figures, positive male figures in your life? Were you raised by a mother whose idea of keeping it Keeping a man is shacking together. These are types of questions that I ask on a first date. So if the answer is none of my fucking business, here, this drink's on me. Have a nice day and get the fuck out of my face. Because I'm too old for the bullshit. I'm down here for you. Yeah. I don't got time for that shit. Right, Mike? I don't got time for that shit. Let's just get to the shit. <laughs> Brothers, you'd be surprised how far the truth will get you. Yup. Tell the yep. damn truth. Right. She's smart enough to be like, nah, I'm good. Who wants you? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, that goes the same way, you know. Because we can intimidate when you're like, um, so, um, I'm gonna fuck you tonight. How do we take that, like, oh, shit. <laughs> Is she trying to get AIDS? <laughs> Shit, it throws us off like, oh shit! What do I need for that one? We ain't used to that shit. Flo, uh, <laughs> well, who the fuck you tonight? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> All right, Bob. Well, let's do this. Somebody farting over there? It's <laughs> more leather now. You know that shit. Sound <laughs> uh, I need strength in the struggle, set the walk journey. Shit, I need feet like Barney Rubble. I need money. Fuck sugar. I need honey. I need down to earth chicks who don't act funny. I need peace. I need longevity like a permanent crease. I need ice grills from these wannabe hard cats to cease. I need blood. I need love. I need constipated assets like cheese from the gov. I need forgiveness from the man up above. I need tax-free reparations. I need band-aids for my ancestors' wounds who made this a great fucking nation. I need America to give love to my Haitians. I need peace in Uganda. Fuck European agitation. I need them to learn from the massive genocide in Rwanda. Apartheid ended in Botswana, South Africa. Shit, I need racism to end right here in America. Listen, y'all. These are just some of my needs. I need guns pointed to the west and prayers recited to the east. I need Pepto-Bismol for this belly of the beast. I need chicks to take powerful back shots and not get mad when I call her a sexy ass bitch. Cause she knows she's steadfast as a strong ass sis. I need her proud to be kinky, but in the streets, I need her neatly. I need her to fuck me on her lunch breaks discreetly, then go back wetting the drawers to run the company firmly. I need dimes the size of bells of hay. I need these homo thugs to admit to the sisters that they really gay. I need these Def Jam poets. Stop getting gas, cause trust me, the hype dies extremely fast. I need Timberland to give back to the hood. I need Lauren Hill to transform back to El Boog. I need Cass to stay hungry after the second album. Hove did it consistently. I need real estate. Man, fuck a meat back Bentley. Listen, y'all, these are just some of my needs. I need Jersey to take these goddamn surcharges off my TransUnion credit report. I need to stop seeing my dogs all up in traffic court. I need more time. I need my interest rates to be fixed in prime. I need some of these whack-ass, dirty South rappers to start writing some clever rhymes. I need platonic coochie to be less emotional. I need y'all ladies to know if all you want is a fuck, it does not make you a hoe. I need more natural cuts, less burgundy weeds. Ladies, I need less talk and more as she needs. Listen, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I need more of my dogs to be daddies in the hood. I need them to realize condoms, they can feel good. I need my sisters to stop using their kids as an emotional crutch. Yes. I need y'all to realize we love our kids, but when it's said and done, it's you we don't give a fuck. I need my dogs to stop fucking them if you ain't gonna wife them, because having a psychotic baby mama is just so trifling. I need y'all to love one another. You gotta love one another like toast love butter. Saturate one another and have a full fledged orgy and just love everybody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
sounds funny. I write for me, man. Good. Like everybody else. Because <laughs> when you start writing for people, that ain't genuine, you know? So. All right. If you haven't noticed, I am a black man. <laughs> um, some issues. Black people, make some noise, clap. <laughs> I need to talk to y'all for a minute. White people, you can listen, <laughs> but I'm talking to my black peoples. <laughs> my black peoples. <laughs> Peace to everybody out there who had perms and went natural. Peace to all the weeds out there with meaning. Peace to all the Ikees who fake the funk with the swine eating. Where's the love? If you're going to be a jump off, play your position and stop hating. Be grown. Leave that home alone. Just because I buy you a drink doesn't mean I want to fuck you. Maybe it just I just want convo that leads to me fucking.